people in this party are, damn, they should be at the club. Yeah. <laughs> right? Right. Because, again, isn't Ramsey's like 21? Yep. I'm just as old and... as the boys are. Yeah, I found and... that too. Shabaka is how old again as well? Uh, I think he's around that age too. 19, the only 20. one that's old is Sasha. Yeah, he's Sasha's 60. And he's been here <laughs> for a long time too, hasn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Sasha's so, just hanging around this group of young adults. So, so it's it looks like a young adult, though. Although I think because yeah, of the half elf, so yeah, the real world tragedy that we've suffered has aged us probably Sasha. a lot. Right? Yeah. <laughs> How do you do, fellow kids? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Music band. <laughs> <laughs> music fan is so funny <laughs> but oh it's just thinking about Shabaka Shabaka's like what you said 21-ish again or like 20 19 something? or 20 or something he's 19 or 20 are you the oh, youngest hey. he's so <laughs> I could say Ramsey's one of the older people apart from the 60 year old oh jeez <laughs> <laughs> I think it's I think by I think age he's older goes... Yeah, it goes Shabaka, like, 19, 20. Korra, who's firmly 20, maybe going to turn 21. And then Ramses, who is 21. And then Fallon, who's, like, 21. I can never remember what I decided Fallon's age was, but I would you say said... probably 21, 22. That's what you said last time, too. Yeah, yeah. okay. And then when... <laughs> and, then and then Sasha, the old man. 60, who is middle age. Old man winters. I'm I'm also oh. saying that she, that I'm assuming that goblinoids uh, mature fairly quickly, so that might actually be, you know, late twenties for old, a human. How old? I was gonna say how Sorry. old though is Shabaka in terms of like equivalent not in dog human years? Age. <laughs> yeah, he would probably be a little bit older into his like humans twenties. Because okay. uh, I think goblinoids don't live very long, so they they probably it should don't say, say that. it should say usually... in your uh, in what your are you? like your racial description, like where wherever you wherever you I... found the racial description in D and D Beyond, it should say where... there what their lifespan yeah, is. Where did I get that? Yeah, yeah. usually uh, goblinoids usually well, don't die of old age. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's true. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Fair. Okay, never mind. Yeah, there you go. They make it to about, I don't know, 26 or 27. <laughs> and, and their questionable life decisions usually catch up to them by then. <laughs> yeah. Chewbacca's going, wait a second, it's my 27th birthday tomorrow. <laughs> no, fuck. I really shouldn't have written 27 on my character sheet. Yeah. Bugbears reach adulthood at 16 and live up to 80 years. Oh, well, that's oh, good times. There you go. Yeah, plenty of time. There you go. Sorry, I was just okay. thinking about the fact that in my campaign, my um, Shuri, my uh, my barbarian, and I did some math about equivalent ages as well. And our player that acts the most immature had decided he was 26 in his age, but his <laughs> character is half dwarf, half halfling, half dwarf, half halfling. And so oh, by ra by racial equivalent, having been 26 years old on the Earth, he is, by dwarf standards, nine years old. Which and is that fucking, fucking... No, because that man is a business owner and a tax evader. <laughs> <laughs> but there's no that way that he like has a, a child. Campaign. Halfway through... <laughs> halfway around he's around essentially the equivalent of 14 years old and i was sitting there going oh my gosh your character is no. basically 14 he, years old mentality wise 14. i mean my, by mentality wise he might as well be 14 that's what i not mean just is because he's an idiot though in in my D, D world i don't do the thing that elves like because they're long lived they they don't mature until later it's like that makes no sense because when they just like learn things and stuff, they would be. I think they would learn just as quickly as humans. They just live longer. They don't take I forever to get to an age where they're like a, considered a young adult. About it is that 
it's not necessarily your physical body that is not aging as much as it's your brain chemistry isn't mature yet. Yeah, but that would be weird then. They're mm -hmm. so like stunted. Like, like I, that's why I, th I mean, find it so weird on, on Mandalorian that, that the, uh, the Grogu like that, is so. like 50. It's like, how could he still be like unable to verbalize and stuff 50 years? I mean, like, how slow do you learn? Human adults, I mean, or until they're 24, we don't have a full brain function for, the for a lot of our chemical we have like a chemical imbalance until we're I'm not 24, 24 yet i was gonna say i still have trouble on. verbalizing <laughs> Wait a second, I'm not 24 yet. it's not it's not your verbalization it's not you're able to have like vernacular and speak because clearly i also have issues with that <laughs> but um it is more akin to your process of decision making yeah. And oh, you make instinct. bad decisions too. Yeah. <laughs> uh oh. But like like real. Eric never grew up. <laughs> yeah. And it could be so. uh, people who have chemical imbalances and those sorts of brain issues will have, um, will continuously have those issues. So, in the case of like a halfling or a dwarf or a, an elf, it's not necessarily that their body isn't an adult by, by standards because we're, we turn 18, we're an adult in you know modern view i suppose but it's their brain that isn't fully chemically balanced yet or you know at least that's at least how i saw it because i don't think it's very kind to an elf to be a toddler for 15 years i know that's that's no. just so stupid i don't that's like that <laughs> so, so what I I, just, oh go ahead i just always am like well my character is this uh this age whatever the equivalent of this age is usually That's how i do it I i'm like i'm an elf they're 26 but whatever the fuck that means in elf years yeah, yeah. that's yeah. normally what i do as well yeah, yeah. i it's just take much the human age it. multiply it by 1.6 or whatever the number is <laughs> and assume that it's yeah i don't yeah, want to do math so I, just, I don't do that i just think of things in dog years love math how many dog years are you <laughs> All I know is that my character in that campaign is 21, and he should be at the club. <laughs> if Nico yeah. is 21, he is 21. If Nico is 21, he is 21. In my D&D world... He's a I... human, so his age is exactly what it is. <laughs> in my D&D world, I have two types of elves. The adventure elves can only be from the first group, which is the traveling elves, and they, they're the elves that are of young age, like... It, they age as fast as humans at first. And so they go out into the world and they have experiences and then they go back to the elven lands. And when they get back there, then they kind of like slow down and take it easy and, and learn yeah. esoteric so things and learn to paint and learn to like do art and stuff like that. And then they, they spend their time just isolated from everyone. Those are more like the Tolkien elves. So I, I've, I've sort of like, separated them out and the ones that live in amongst humans are the adventuring type ones that eventually maybe they will get older and then they'll move to one of those lands but mm. yeah that explains it it makes it easier to like have part people understand that these elves are different than the other elves i tend to overly rely on humans i find that yeah i understand them really well um <laughs> really yeah i mean I don't. We would. <laughs> yeah, I don't. <laughs> I like playing humans. Yeah, identify People with any are, other like, race. It's boring, and I'm like, mm, not if you have fun with it. Yeah. yeah. I think Cora might. I was I was watching a, an interview with uh, Brennan Lee Mulligan, the, the internet dungeon. <laughs> I player. love him. Yeah, and he got asked the question. He was like, "What's your favorite monster type as a as a villain?" And I'm like, "Oh, I have an opinion on this. It's not going to be the same as his." But you know that's that's fine. I'm I'm interested to see what he has to say. And his answer was humanoid, and it was like, yes, that is right. That is the of right. Of course, answer. that's what he said. That's extremely yeah. on brand. Yeah. yeah. So I was like, okay, thank you. Yeah, I didn't expect him to say it. I I, I don't know what I expected him to say, but it was like really, that sounds exactly exact right like answer. something he would say. Yeah. Thirteen point four. Jesus. I think. Ones that I enjoy reading the most are Aberration, though. Mm. I yeah. enjoy reading Aberration the most. She, she 
you're like doing differential equations for ages. I it's <laughs> yeah. not differential, it's just basic fucking fractions. It is just basic fractions. This is the type of shit I love doing too in math where it's like if you're going if something is like this Unit conversion fast for this long then how much whatever like having to just do like that stuff that's fun. You the train is left the there. There. You need pi in there, you need um um oh, pi numbers. is involved 2.14 <laughs> Two point, uh, How about 3.14? 3. So, yeah. uh, <laughs> no, that's actually a reference to the campaign. Um, uh, that There is a character named Morris that very confidently got the digits of pi wrong. <laughs> um, he doesn't know math. He's literally like two weeks old. And is He's a ball dumb as dad. shit. I love him so much. He's my son. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Um, and I just give Nico 21 years old. He is 21 oh. years old. <laughs> That's Nico. Stupid. It's so dumb. We we were running into an issue where they found out that um this literal ball of gas ate a book which represents like the human consciousness of a person, and they yeah, were freaking out did. about it. They were freaking out about this fact that a literal ball of gas ate the consciousness of a human and absorbed their memories. Yeah. Like, and immediately during after this conversation, they're like, so he was like, Yeah, I know the digits of pi now. And they're like, you know the digits of pi? And he goes, Yeah, and then very confidently got the wrong number nice. <laughs> Yep. He sure did. Love it. That reminds me of a the uh oh, shit. the straw man in Wizard of Oz. Who's like Scarecrow? Like, Scarecrow? Who's, Who wants Scarecrow, brain? yeah, yeah. He's like his 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 big thing at the end of the uh at the at the end of the movie is like like reciting some fact about a triangle, but he gets the, the type of triangle wrong. <laughs> He says it's like an isosceles triangle when the, the, the math he actually sprouts is from a, 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 a right triangle. And it's just like, oh, that wow, I have not seen that movie in a so long close. time. I don't even not remember that. No, he, he gets the fact wrong at the end of the movie. And it's just like, oh, you were so close there. And you, know, like, you almost had a brain. <laughs> the thing is, how is he walking not around me. and doing way, stuff if he doesn't have a brain? Saying, the scarecrow? You mean the hot one? <laughs> I mean, I mean, <laughs> I'm not wrong, but also, why was that where my brain went immediately? <laughs> Let me look up Wizard of Oz Scarecrow real quick. Because he's because all of the characters in the Wizard of Oz are people in like the real Kansas life. Okay, and he was the hot one. Here's the thing, <laughs> um, Dorothy exists. Yeah, that was shocking. What? She's like the, the author's nephew or niece or something like that. Um, I I just heard that story recently. It's crazy. So um, I was making a gay joke, but I just learned something else. Real. That's what I thought you were doing. <laughs> oh, friends of Dorothy, yeah, fucking great. I was making a gay joke, but your uh, Dorothy exists as a person. Yeah, like, in real life. Like, yeah, her last name wasn't Dorothy Gale, but like she she was like a relative of the author of the books who was like there was like a, a pretty tragic story there, I believe. Like either oh, Isn't shit, that Frank I can't Baum? remember now. Frank Baum? Yes, it's Frank Baum. Yeah. Yeah, but like I think it was a, I think it was a child who died that he basically reincarnated to be the main character of his books, and it was like, whoa, Bummer. this got real deep, real fast, L, um, L, in a surprising right? way. Hmm. And uh, I wasn't even making a friends of Dorothy joke, by the way. I was just saying you have five, you have like four main people. You watch the entire film. Three of them are not real, like not people, and then you have a fully functional adult woman, and you're very much not straight. Why do you go for the other one? <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, because no, listen. In the movie, 
Mm-hmm. She goes back to Kansas at the end, and mm-hmm. all of the characters from Oz are real people. Wait a second. Yeah. Okay. And the mm-hmm. scarecrow is the dream. like cute guy that she like kind of had like is implied that there's like a thing between them, sort of. Let me look this up real quick. Was it of Oz scarecrow human? <laughs> <laughs> so, so here's here's another thing. If you watch Wicked, which is totally the movie that, um, which uh, is so good, yeah, mm-hmm. Wicked is yeah. awesome. And it's Wicked. The the it's like if you it's I mean shit. What am I trying to say here? <laughs> um, what's the Disney movie with the princesses? She can do ice things, let it go, um, etc. Frozen? Frozen, yeah. Frozen, yeah. So basically, Wicked is the plot for Frozen. And it also stars Adina Menzel as, like, the I mean, main kinda. character. And so, like, Frozen was totally based on Wicked, but nobody, like, got sued. Um, mm. But I mean, the one thing that Wicked had that, uh... that Frozen didn't was a male character romantic interest that both the two friend female leads were infatuated with that the whole plot really didn't need but at the end of the show he gets turned into the scarecrow so he like he is like the hot one from the previous storyline in fact yeah yeah Lori Boulder played Hunk, a farmhand, and the scarecrow. <laughs> they literally named him Hunk. <laughs> <laughs> a solid name. Hunk, Hickory, and Zeke. What? No, that was not, I don't think that's right. Is that right? Yep, yep. sounds right. That's Zeke was one of them. Scarecrow, the cowardly lion, and the tin man. Hunk, Zeke, and Hickory. Why you were all there too? Yeah. Yeah. Fro- Frozen is based on the uh, the Snow Queen um, fairy tale. I- yeah, I don't think it's that similar to Wicked. Really? I mean, I kind of... Like, Wicked. I mean, I can see what you mean, but I don't think it's that similar. I think Wicked it's is taking... Taking... It's primarily about the relationship between two platonic women who, like, are... Well, we can't like, have more uh, than one spark in another relationship between two platonic women? <laughs> no. I'm just saying that, like, it's, it, like, that those are similarities between the two. Yeah, and... no, I can see what you mean. I just don't think it's really yeah. that. Like, it's definitely yeah. not similar enough that somebody would get sued over it. And that's why they haven't been. Mm-hmm. That could be. <laughs> <it>. <laughs> well, I mean, they're sisters in Frozen, so. Yeah, and best friends too. in in uh, the other one, in Wicked. Wicked. But it's also like kind of isn't Wicked kind of like about this one who. Was misunderstood. I don't know. I don't know yeah. that much about Wicked. I know part. Yeah, so she's she's like the the she's the the main character in Wicked is the Wicked Witch, Witch, uh, Witch yeah. of the West, right? The yeah. the villain of the the next film, if you will. And but she's not wrong. And a lot of what Wicked does is kind of explain her justification. And the the. The middle, like the 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 first intermission, kind of goes out on her singing her song about how she's gonna, how she's no longer gonna play by the rules, and she's going to find her own way, and you know everybody better watch out. And she's just it gonna let it go. Yeah, exactly. It's like you don't. It's 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 almost exactly the same beat as that. It's it's so it's so similar. I, I I encourage anyone who's at all interested to watch them again with that with that context, which is probably none of you. But like, <laughs> I found it really fascinating. Anyway, how similar I thought those two things were. Hmm. So we need to have a Frozen and Wicked watch party, is what I'm hearing. <laughs> mm-hmm. Right. That's right. Yeah. Well, I was always that's a Frozen we do it, it's, early, so. That's what I do when uh, when this campaign wraps. We watch uh, Wicked and then Frozen. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> You're yep. up till like 4 a.m. And then we watch <laughs> Wizard of Oz to determine if he's and actually hot. Naturally. <laughs> and then we watch of Wizard of Oz and figure out if he's hot or not. 
<laughs> we have a, a poll afterwards, an anonymous poll. <laughs> mm -hmm. We can ask the viewer. The viewers, is he hot? <laughs> He is, he is. I hate that. That's where my brain went instantly. The viewer is is <laughs> what is commenting on what you guys are saying. The answer is yes. <laughs> I didn't know you're still on. <laughs> what does the viewer say? I gotta know. He said, uh, "Wicked and Frozen are both based on tropes and fairy tales, hundreds of years old." This is true. This is true. Yep. And uh, no, also, copyright that. copyright on those I think is pretty much expired since. I don't know about. I mean, yeah, Wicked but also, who's gonna? It. I mean, suing Disney was never. It would never go well anyway. Well, the Disney's viewer doesn't expired. have an opinion on whether or not the scarecrow is hot. Yeah, <laughs> he didn't say anything about that. Uh, the the Wizard of Oz may have expired, but Wicked didn't. Wicked is recent. Well, I mean, yeah. he means the story that it's based on. Right. Right. This is true. Okay, I'm. I need to go to sleep before I say anything else <laughs> weird about characters I think that are hot. Um, Fair. I need to. Gonna... I need to go to sleep before I start talking about the fox and Robin Hood. Okay. <laughs> I love yeah. the fox and Robin Hood. He's awesome. I'm gonna go to that was head. my favorite. That was my favorite Disney movie as a kid. I, love that, I love that movie too. Movie. I will just go to bed there. thinking. Gay thoughts and have a good dream. Okay. Yeah, me too. Just think about lesbians. That's what I'm gonna do. Yeah. Go. Yeah. Cool. Can't girl. go wrong there. Go dance, girl. Go dance. <laughs> Thanks, you, Dad. you go, girl. <laughs> go let's dance. go, lesbians. Let's go. <laughs> if you were thought made Marion was hot. Let's go, lesbians. <laughs> right? All right, lesbians. Let's go. <laughs> Good night, all. Sleep well. All right. Have a good one. Good Thanks, yeah, everybody, everybody, for watching and listening to our, our after show rant. Our goofiness. <laughs> Don't worry me. I didn't know we were still on the street. I didn't either. <laughs> good night. Oh, that I love the GIF. Right. <laughs> Later, kids. Okay. Play the outro. <laughs>
веселому побыть. Thank you. 